Mm, hi guys. Not exactly a spectacularly gorgeous sunset. Who's this joining us? This is Mr. Blue Heron. Not exactly a spectacularly gorgeous sunset here uh, in the end times. In paradise, I think it's a Tuesday, but somehow I think I might. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm pretty sure it's January uh, 16th, 2024. So uh, little dog and I are enjoying our, our last day of warmth before it. Okay, this is the... Everyone's come to join us. We've got the blue heron and the three sandhill cranes. We've got the whole gang. They heard me start my rant. So this is my audience. Whenever I start ranting, the uh, this is my audience. The the sandhill cranes and the blue heron are apparently are fascinated. Oh shit! But I see my battery running. So not sure I'm gonna have time for this rant. So uh, anyway. I'm thinking of starting a new channel called Questions for Hambone. I have been getting all sorts of questions recently, so I probably should just start a new channel where I can answer all my questions from my adoring fans and whatnot. I had uh, someone ask me last night, did you ever wish harm on anybody? Did you ever wish harm on anybody? And I could not resist saying, I, I have to admit I wish Donald Trump would choke to death on a Kentucky Fried Chicken wing bone. All right, we've got the white heron coming in for the, uh, for the rant. So all these birds want to know answers to my question. So that was the answer to that question. I noticed uh, some of them asking me the question, am I a vegan? Is Hambone Little Tail a vegan? Uh, <laughs> I think we'll let Mark J in uh, West Bumblefuck, New Mexico uh, answer the question, is Hambone Little Tail a vegan? I think anybody with a brain knows the answer to that question. So, then I got the question, what is your opinion that the sun, that our solar system, our solar system is part of a binary star system? But one of the suns has burned up while we can't see the second sun. So the answer to the question, what is my opinion whether we are uh, part of a binary solar system? You know, these are good questions. This person told me that most solar systems are binary solar systems. And I wrote back uh, to uh, this inquiring mind th that the only binary solar system I have ever heard of is, uh, is Sirius. You know, the dog star following uh, Orion around the, uh, around the solar system. Is act Sirius is actually two stars, uh, and I have never heard any evidence that the sun used to have a twin sister. I just said I am not an astronomer, but just logic would tell me that if our sun is middle aged, about four and a half billion years old, and is only middle aged. Why would its twin already have burned up? Uh, it just that just doesn't make any 
common sense to me. Uh, so that was that was my opinion on that. Now the latest one is about are you obsessed with letters and numbers? Are you obsessed with letters and numbers? This person told me that uh, the tall ones, the tall ones seem to be obsessed with letters and numbers. I, I'm not the tall whats are obsessed with letters and numbers. Tall people I'm thinking it might have been the tall space aliens are obsessed with letters and numbers. Uh, I always thought, you, you know, by by watching movies such as uh, My Brilliant Mind and Rain Man, that it is mentally disturbed people, schizophrenics and idiot savants that are obsessed with letters and numbers but the more I thought about it guys I am getting ready to say something on Humpty Dumpty Tribe that I have never admitted to any human being on the planet since the day I was born I have never uttered what I am getting ready to I've never done it on Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, my my dear sweet ex-wife never heard this once in our seven-year marriage. There is not one human being on this planet until this minute that knows what I am getting ready to say about my OCD about numbers. And... Uh, <clears throat> so, if the battery holds out, you will get to hear this secret that nobody has heard before because, in fact, I am obsessed with numbers. I would say, I don't know when this started. It might have started when I was a teenager. When I first wake up in the morning, and, 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 and I don't care what's going on in my life, what's going on on this planet, I don't care if I have a beautiful naked woman sleeping next to me when I first wake up in the morning. One of the very first things that I do seven days a week 365 days a year. My guess is for the last 50 years, I always wake up with a song going on in my brain, with some goddamn song. You know how you get a tune stuck in your brain. And what I do before I do anything else with my day, the number one way I start off my day no matter where I'm at, who I'm with, what I'm dealing with, is what I do is I take the lyrics of one line in a song and divide by five. And I, and I see if I can, if I happen to hit upon a song with five syllables, uh, that where the line has five syllables in it and the the next line has five syllables and I get really excited the more lines in a row that have five syllables in them uh, is if I can start off my day so today I have the song uh, I'll be watching you unbelievable going all through my head all day. I know the first thing tomorrow is going to be a great day tomorrow because when I wake up tomorrow morning, the first, the first thing that's going to go through my head is the old uh, police song. Is it pol the police or sting? I'll be watching you. I'll, I'm calling I'll one syllable. I'll be watching you. 
five syllables. Everywhere you go, five syllables. Everything you do, five syllables. I'll be watching you, five syllables. You know, it's the refrain of the song. So if I can wake up tomorrow with I'll be watching you rolling through my brain, it is going to be a great day in my life. So there you go. I am completely obsessed with this. It's the single biggest obsession in my life is how many songs out there. I want you to send me examples. Think of songs that have five syllables in each line. But obviously I need to wrap this rant up because I don't think these people want to hear about it. All right. So uh, that is today's edition of Questions for Hambone. Hello. All right. Not much of a sunset today. <laughs>